Hey guys, it's me, Albert. Um, just wanted to show you what I picked up at my local Target. And uh, I got a wheelie here. Pretty sure you could see it. And then um, this is my custom wheelie. Um, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with, with the small wheelie. He's pretty cool. Transformation. You guys have all the review. He has uh, the hip, uh, hip twist. Uh, the swivels are really nice. The joints. It's pretty cool, but I still like my own custom one because it's a little bit taller. And as you can see, the head was from the uh, Generations. Uh, uh, it was the Generations RC, which I didn't like the body because the Generation body was uh, from Jazz. And yeah, so let's just put him, <clears throat> put him in the back, side to side, little comparison. Um, he was actually smaller than I figured. Um, cause I thought he'd be a little bit bigger, but, oh, and, uh, in case you guys want to wonder about the slingshot, it does not go on him. You have to hold it from the top end. So it's more like this. So yeah, I'll be, I'll be taking pictures of it. It looks pretty cool, but the, the problem part is, yeah, the, uh, the hand, uh, it's a three, uh, five millimeter port, I believe. And it's a little too big than, uh, than the actual one. So that's why I like my wheelie better. Well, I mean, I like them both, but my custom can just hold the base really good, which, as you can see. So yeah, that's my little review on, on the, uh, on wheelie. Um, so let me go ahead and show you what else I got. Put this guy aside. I like that one a lot. Um, I got rewind as well. But for some reason, I just his feet he just won't stand. I guess you gotta put him like this, make him um, like do a little ab crunch, uh, leaning towards to keep balance. But I really do not like the feet. Matter of fact, I have this one, <clears throat> frenzy or whatever you guys want to call it, frenzy or uh, or uh, not the other guy's name. But anyways, so what I'm gonna do. And they look really good side by side. I thought I thought Frenzy would be taller, but it looks like they're about the same the same height, which is actually pretty awesome. Cause I was gonna give a rewind the add-on feet, but now looking at it, and they are very similar in height. So he can stand. It's just he cannot. Rewind can't stand. He could stand. I guess you gotta turn it, turn his leg like this. Actually, yeah, it's pretty. It's actually, really cool. I like rewind. I'm not sure if my table is lopsided, but yeah, I'm having a really hard time standing him, guys. So if there's a technique or whatever, I don't. Oh, there we go. So yeah, wow. I think they look really good together. Like, so yeah, that's that's my take on that. So I like rewind a lot. Very cool. So yeah, that's all I picked up. Um, pretty much, someone was asking me in the background for a sandstorm, and uh, yeah, I picked them up at a Target, like twenty bucks, and I had to because I passed him way back, and kind of regretted it. And I saw him again, and I said, "Oh man, he's he's a cool triple changer." You know, I was thinking about customizing, making one shorter, but I said, "Screw it, uh, this one fits perfect." It fits next, uh, really good next to my, um, uh, custom, uh, well, that's a custom, uh, Tidal Wave, but I made him to a, I mean, he was from Tidal Wave, but I made him to a custom broadside, as you can see. Uh, if you want to take a look at the review, I guess, like the review right now, it's, he, I just customized, I put, like, a little, uh, ball joint swivel so he can, like, bend his knees, more poseable. Uh, he's ahead. Whoops. And I made this stuff. Uh, made it to airplane mode from a jet fire or macros, whatever you want to call it. And then, uh, yeah, this one's done. This has been like a year ago that's been finished already. And um, the head was the hard part because I took out Titan. I mean, I, I took out the uh, Tidal Waves head and I made my own headmaster. So it's a headmaster gimmick. So yeah, before Titan Wars, you know, I'm not hating on Titan Wars. I love it actually. Um, broadside was not 
a headmaster, but I made him to headmaster because, you know, I saw the head and uh, figured out he'd look cool as a headmaster. So yeah, it's it's it still need to glue some stuff on it. So, but no, you don't really need to glue it. You could just take it apart because it pegs right on the back, really good. See that? So, plus it makes it for articulation for like, little stuff. I might just add some eyes, make it red, so it looks more accurate. And this is just a little gun, which you can take out, because which is actually his neck. So, oops, sorry. Yeah, so he's he's a headmaster. He's actually from the. Uh, I forgot what headmaster he was from, but yeah, he's he's cool. That's title was headmaster, and that's his neck gun, whatever. So yeah, so put this back. Easy transformation. Like that. Uh, like this, I think. Which way? This way? No. The other way. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, that's, that's my uh, custom uh, broadside. And I did um, a few months, or last year, I did a picture of, uh, of uh, the Wreckers. And the only thing that was missing. Let me just put him in the back because he's so cool. Yeah, I like him a lot. I did a lot to him. And uh, I don't want to buy a third party broadside because it's expensive and uh, it's not as big. So here we go. So these two, this is my project that I'm going to do. This guy is going to be easy. So grab these two because they're extra. They're actually my rewind. And uh, rewind and the other guy's name. Uh, with blaster is over there, but now I'm just gonna go customize it and just to show you guys. Uh, let me show, let me grab some parts here. Sorry, where is it? There we go. Just an example. Just want to go back in the back. I'll just shave it off, put it there, put the legs there, the hands and body. Then you guys get the idea. Then bam. So that's project that I'm gonna work on soon because. I want to make <clears throat> I want to make my own records in the head, so it'll be easy. So that's in the bag here. I always put everything in the bag. So I know what parts to use, the project layout. So some people ask me about all these layout stuff, and yeah, it's it's okay to map it and draw it out, but you know, to me, it's fine just like that. I'm hang on real quick, guys. All right, so. Getting back with that project that I have, might as well show this too. Um, here we go. Uh, Thunderwing, or uh, so that's another part. Well, this is just like whatever. I decided to add it on. Yeah, Thunderwing the Pretender. So he's gonna be a project that I'm working on. Got this stuff on it. Um. And I'm going to do a custom and just to show you guys real quick. It's a work in progress, but I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek to see what's how, how I do stuff. So this one uh, will be his pretender inside. Oops, the head came out. Hang on, guys. So yeah, this is it. So all I do is drill, put stuff, then screw it, uh, nuts and bolts, and then uh, use a spray. The color, the clear coat... Uh, the rust protection someone was asking me about that why i use that so because most stuff are like metal as you can see the screws so yeah he'll be my pretender and uh, to show it i'm going to do some stuff shave it back off uh put this like a box it'll be like a kind of like a shell but more of a uh more of a box opener then i have this mechanism where It'll swivel open and close, and then that part would would open up. So yeah, that's another project that we'll be. Whoops, sorry guys. We'll be working on. Cause I'm charging my phone. Let me guide that back. There we go. So yeah. Um. So let me show you another project that's coming up for tomorrow. Ah, oh, sorry. Still trying to get over this little. It's not like a little coat I guess I have or anything else. So yeah, this is my project coming up. 
I wanted to show you Project Chaos that will be coming up, getting ready for Sunday. It's all primed out, it's ready to go. So I got the color set up. If you can see, I got two, four, six, seven, uh, eight, uh, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 colors here. I separated so I could put the girl and then the guy. And then I'll show you about the theme. And uh, cause last time I did with uh, Unity, I was brushing it and trying to explain and talk, but kind of having a hard time and really hard time focusing and talking at the same time. So yeah, this one is already primed out. I put dark primer, so everything looks cool. Yeah, so that's my Project Chaos coming up. Um, if you guys haven't checked it out, I did like a custom 13 prime series. It'll explain everything about that. Or I'll talk about it some more next time. Um, let me see if I can find it. Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, yeah. Let me show you some finished works that I did do. So this countdown, Michael Master, my custom. It's pretty cool. He can transform, but uh, it's kind of odd shape. I'm actually got to go to work soon, but it's 12 I still have time. This is a backpack. Um, I'm not sure how it transforms yet. I'm pretty sure it's pretty easy. It's like... Like, like this, this, I guess. Make the wheels come out. This way, I guess. Uh, yeah, you could turn it. No? Oops, sorry. So yeah, most of these joints are still... There you go. It's all pegs, little ball joints. So yeah, this is cut down. Let me just put a backpack in there. And then it looks more like the, the G1. And uh, I thought I saw a third party work on it but they never did have it so I decided to make my own also a <clears throat> double dealer oh, okay I thought there we go so yeah this one I just added the eagle head I painted it so it's done so and then I just added the wings it transforms so that's my double dealer I didn't do a lot to it just the paint there and then the head I figured this double dealer would look cool that way. So let's put this one aside. And then this one, I'll get over there, will be my another project called The Last Autobot. And yeah, I don't know if you could see his head, but I, I thought his head would be perfect for it. Like the Autobot symbol. So then he has a shoulder mop, which I still have to work on. Get it real quick. Okay. So yeah, this is the, sh the shoulders. I still have to. Oops, sorry about that, guys. The table's like next to me because I was gonna I'm gonna go paint in a little bit, just a little bit. But before I go ahead to work, so yeah, this is shoulder mounts. I don't know if you've seen. Uh, pictures I use that as a reference of the last Autobot, so I just put in the shoulders like that. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. I uh, epoxied it so it's more stable. Screws, see that? All that stuff. Uh, this one, I don't know if I'm gonna prime it. Maybe, maybe not. Depending on the time. I didn't want to prime it. The only reason why I primed the uh, Project Chaos and my Project Unity is to give that texture. So this is my Unity one. This is all the colors of the 13 Primes. And I really like how it turned out. Apex Armor, that's why it has that glitter to show the relevance in the 13 Primes. And this one too is Dark Primer. This one has Light Primer and some, some spots you can see I missed. Because if you airbrush it, which is good, it just takes a lot of time. You gotta take it out and everything, which I don't wanna, I don't have a lot of time to do. So yeah, that's my Unity. Oh yeah, so that's together. I think I did a review on this guy already, which I did, and then um, and that's pretty much it. So that's my little little take on the stuff that I'm working on. So yeah, I'm gonna color him. I think he looks cool. What time is it? Oh wow, 14 minutes. All right, guys, peace. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe and check all the other stuff out. All right.